Hey folks, Machinery Pete here. Real treat for you today. Uh, legendary machinery guy here, Joe Swindell with Swindell Farm Equipment, Wilkinson, Indiana. Joe, I know you're super busy today, the day before your auction. I appreciate you taking time here. Uh, first of all, fun to finally make it out to see your, your business here. Well, good to have you. And uh, it's been real fun visiting with you over the years down at the Sullivan Auctions. And uh, I've heard stories about some of these equipment items you have here in the shed. And uh, quite, a, quite a facility here. Now, can you give us a little walking tour and tell us a, a few of your favorite pieces here, Joe? Yeah, sure can. Okay, sure well. Can. It's kind of a mess in here. I'm just a hey, ashamed you, of you it, haven't seen my office, Joe. This is looking <laughs> good. All right, where, where are we going to start? Well, uh, we can start right over here. Again. Okay, you lead the way. So we got a GMC 7000 here. Joe. Yeah, that's a, I think a 1980. I'm not really not sure, but it's a twin screw truck. It's a gas engine. Okay. Uh, it's got 1,900 and some actual miles on it. How many miles? 1,900 and some. 1,900 miles. Wow. Yep. And it came not very far from here. The fellow was a. I know he drilled wells and. Okay. Somebody said he built houses at one time around Indianapolis, up around okay. Carmel. I'm not real sure on that part, yep. but uh, he bought a bunch of farmland out this way and started farming, and uh, that evidently wasn't for him because about a year of that was that was it. A year, so, and he, uh, he just put a few miles on it, and that was it. Huh? Yeah, he had two of these trucks. I don't know where the other one went. So but, you bought uh, it quite a number of years ago? Yeah, it's been several years ago. Uh, the daughter called me after he passed away and wanted to praise. And so uh, you bought this truck, Joe, just uh, kind of to collect? Because you knew it was a kind of once in a lifetime shot, or yeah, yeah, I guess I I thought about using it, and then with the miles, I thought ah, I better not do that. But uh. 1,900 miles, wow! Got to be the lowest GMC 7000 uh, lowest mileage truck uh, anywhere. Yeah, it's real clean inside. It's just a nice truck. All right, what uh, what do we got behind the truck here, Joe? Oh, there's a 3588 uh, two plus two tractor. Okay. Um, we might have to sneak around and take a look at that one. Okay. Yeah, we'll get around this. Up. Okay, Joe. Looks like we got a 3588. What's the story on this uh, one? My good friend Albert Holiator in uh, Hill Rose, Colorado, bought this tractor for me. Okay. And it had uh, it's got 1,200 and some hours on it. Wow. And it come from around Burlington, Colorado okay. area, I believe, is what it was. Okay. And uh, oh, we've had it a number of years and just keep it in there. And, boys get out once in a while running but we, we haven't ever run it in the field okay so, and Oof. then uh what Ed, we got here uh, oliver 770 okay uh another good friend of mine ed teesfield i used to do a lot of business with at cessna park illinois found this tractor for me and a 4020 diesel that was just as nice i should have kept but uh -huh. the, the guy in uh, new york that, oh uh, kevin you entered yeah kevin Sykes. he uh I think he's one and ended up with that and it okay. sat in here for quite a while before we picked it up and okay every time i looked at it i thought well, i shouldn't have sold that but huh. it was nice i like oliver's and i kept this and 2300 and some hours on it nice and you have a family history was that going back to your dad with the oliver's truck? yeah he had an 880 he bought new okay and then the 77 was back here in the back okay and i understand used. there's quite a story about that 77. yeah we yeah. better when go they, take a look at that one when they restored it the, that that's quite a story so. okay well now let, let's head this way, Joe. I think there's a truck and that Oliver 77 we got to find. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Joe. Boy, we got a sharp looking uh, 400 here. Watch, what's 400 this? Wheatland Diesel, and it's okay. original. Uh, Albert bought this, or I bought it off Albert, I guess. It he came out of Colorado, too. Uh -huh. He bought it out in there someplace. Just, just a real nice old tractor, real straight, original. Beautiful. Runs good. Okay. Uh, this came from Albert. Uh, it's a Chevy, I think this is a 58 Chevy, and 58. one family had it, and it's got 13,000 miles on it. Oh, just a clean little truck, no rust, Colorado truck. I like old trucks, I like old tractors, I like a little bit of everything, yeah, too much of everything. <laughs> oh, this is, this is very cool, Joe. What year do you suppose this is again? It's Wait. a 1958. 58, okay, and it's a... Uh, Viking. There you go. Right Six folks. 13,000 miles on it? Yep. Man. How long do you suppose you've owned it? Oh, 
About two years. I've okay. just had this in about two years. So. so old trucks. Looks like we got another. Uh, now this one, I understand. I yeah, was at this sale. You was at this auction in Nebraska. Yeah, a good friend, Daryl Croppy. Yeah, great auction. Uh, had one of his friends out there, customers, bid this truck off for me, okay. and I wanted that truck. Yeah, it's real clean truck. And it came from up by Alliance, Nebraska. Yeah, I remember the day. It was in May of 2013, maybe a couple years ago. Yeah, 14. that'd be that'd be about okay. right. That'd be about right. And, I and what the, model is this one again, Joe? It's a 1955, I believe. Okay. Chevy. And I'm sure I said and you had a great deal on it on the. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You said that's a record <laughs> price on one of them I bought. Uh, that made me feel well, good. Is, <laughs> no, I'm still tickled with it. Tickled to death. Daryl, Daryl done a good job. Yeah. He's he's got good eyes. He's he good, does. He's a good guy. Very sharp. And then this one comes from uh, New Holland, Illinois. I went to an auction over there one day, and they had this truck sitting in the building. Okay. And uh, I asked him if he'd want to sell that truck. And he said, well, yeah, I probably would. So I ended up buying that truck off of him, and it's a little 350 one-ton Ford okay. with, uh, I believe it's a six-cylinder. Yeah. It's got 15,000 some odd miles. Wow. On. But it's just, see that door shut? Just nice as nice as it could be. Wow. I always liked that style of Ford. Mm -hmm. So if you had to say, what do you, trucks or tractors? If you had to pick, Joe. Oh, I don't know. I couldn't pick. I but, like them both. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is an amazing collection. Now, oh, what's the story on the Oliver here, the Super 99? Uh, that came from over by Morton, Illinois. A guy collected tractors, an older fellow, and he okay. just kind of quitting. And uh, Dallas Kaufman was telling me about him. And yep. so I went up there and took a look look at his collection bought this one and uh i bought a few others i can't remember just okay. what they was but okay. i do remember this one you, yeah, go ahead and take it joe now this is oliver 77 tractor that i grew up on and my dad had that for a number of years this actual tractor yeah this tractor here you drove this when you were a little guy yep okay yep. and he sold it to, later on to a fellow named smith down here by carthage and uh, i was on a farm over by mays Asked the guy, I said, where'd you get that tractor? I saw those check tires. I always remember the check tires and no hydraulics. They had a flat plate on it up there underneath okay. the gear shift. Yep. Had no mechanical lift on it either. Yeah. He said, I bought it over by Carthage off a guy. I said, was that Smith? And he said, yeah. And I said, well, that's the tractor I raised on. Really? And uh, so he sold me that tractor right. And, and uh, it, it didn't look like that. It had been sitting out. So when did, it, when did the transformation back to this? I think it was about... Uh, Six years ago, seven years ago. Okay. And uh, I didn't even miss it, but the boys took it. And they went over to Wes's house in the garage and they. Your son, the, Wes? My son, Wes. Yeah. And they called that, uh, I believe it was Operation Mashed Potatoes when they wanted okay. to talk about what they was doing. <laughs> and, anyway, I didn't know it, but they had it all, they, they redone the whole thing, fixed it up for me. And, and surprised you with and it? Surprised me with oh, it. Oh, what was your reaction? Oh, I was pretty surprised. I was pretty yeah, surprised. That's pretty cool. The tractor you grew up on. Yep. Yeah, that is awesome, Joe. Now, as I look, well, a couple things. First, folks, this shed is unbelievable. You got spreaders up in the up in the rafters there. What's the scoop there, Joe? Oh, just getting them out of the way. That's some we <laughs> play. Out of the way. Mike bought that one uh, north of Smith Center, Kansas, up Your in son Nebraska. Mike? Yes, he was out in there. Bought that on an auction. Okay. Uh, and then I'm not sure where these others come from, but they're real nice spreaders. So good paint on them and the insides are real good have been used very much so well, just some we hung I think to. when you when you turn this into a museum which people will pay to come see by the way this is awesome <laughs> oh I wouldn't think you, so oh I, I think so I know so Joe now there's a tractor in the back I've heard this story about that 4440 you got to take us back there and tell us about that Joe. okay okay all... okay Joe we're in the back of the shed here and tell us what we got we got a 4440 Really can't tell you the year on it. I should know, but I don't. Uh, it's all original. Uh, came with that truck over there, that Chevy tandem truck up front. Okay. Yeah, same guy had it. And this was yeah. from right in Indiana here? Yeah, just uh, west of here, probably six, five miles, six miles, something like okay. that. Okay. And it's got uh, 700 and some hours. Yeah, our, our buddy Dan Sullivan just climbed in the cab. He said, like, was it 788 hours? Seemed like it was something like that. Yeah. Those are original yeah. hours. Original hours. Wow. Yeah. 
And how long have you had it, Joe? I well, just like that truck. I don't know what it's been. It seemed like five, six years. Okay. Years. No, it's been longer than that. Heck, it's probably been. It's probably been ten or twelve years, I'd say. Well, Joe, you have a better machinery sense almost than anyone I've, I've met. How do you find these things, these trucks and tractors with low hours, low miles? I, I don't know. I just. Your network of people that you know around the country yeah, I guess is, so. is, is pretty network big. Network of people, and we get a lot of auction fires from different places. Yeah. And what does it feel like when you find a 4440 with 788 hours on it? Oh, that, that feels pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> this lady had called me, uh, his daughter, after he'd passed away. Yep. She'd called me different times, uh, maybe three times, and wanted to praise. And I, I would have liked to have helped her, but sure. and I said I'd try to get there, but I never could, I never could get the time to do it or get right when she had the time or whatever. One day she called me and she said, I want to sell this stuff. And I thought, I better go. You know, there's just times yep. you just feel like you you got to hurry up and do right. something. I said, right. I'll go. So I went and met her and looked at it and I saw the hours and we talked a little bit about her dad and what he'd done. And, yep. uh, I could tell it was right and the hour meter had been wiped off and I knew somebody else had been there looking. Yep. But evidently it wasn't near giving her enough so right. I really wanted that stuff and I right. just figured it right up there where I wanted to be where yep. I'd be no messing around yep. and really try to buy it right and she just immediately sold it to me so wow. I mean somebody must have put a real low bid in now or have, have or people do many people know about this tractor Joe I mean do people want to come see it and uh, hear about it no not well yeah there's a few I guess Somebody was telling the other day I had one in here with 60 hours on, but I don't have any 60 hour tracks. <laughs> See, the story but, can kind of grow like this. Is why I wanted yeah. to get you in your voice telling us about your amazing trucks and tractors, Joe. It's uh, just been fantastic. And I understand you have, I mean, we've just scratched the tip of the iceberg here, haven't we? You well, have there's lots a few, of There's a few others in here. Yeah. yeah. Well, Joe, now you got started in the equipment business while you were in high school in 1971? Yeah, after I got out of high school, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, in, in, uh, I was 69 and 70. I started going into Illinois to farm sales because I like that quality equipment on those farms over okay. there. And uh, I, I know I went to the office uh, one time when I wanted to go and I thought, well, I'll just tell them what I'm doing. This and, is the high school office? Yeah, okay. high school office. I said, I'm going to go to a farm sale tomorrow and uh, if that would be all right. And yep. they gave me a pass. So every time I wanted to go over there, I'd just tell them what I was doing. They actually gave you a pass? They gave me a pass. I wished I'd have kept them. <laughs> that pass never sure. thought about it then but, right but they give me a pass to go and I'd go over there and spend the day and buy a few things and wow. not not anything expensive mm -hmm. but I'd buy a few things and bring it back and resell it and that's when I was in high school so after I got out of high school in 71 uh, that's I just started in on that okay. full time and from wow. then on it's just been excellent been, so it's 40, been real good in 45 years now Joe yeah that's right don't seem like it but that's right well and I can tell you uh, you love what you're doing Oh yeah, love it. And the people are running. Made a lot there. of friends, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. Oh gosh, that first year, just people take me home. Ernie Kaufman, and just go in there and eat lunch with them, stay all night with them. It's just right. the people you run into, it's just great. Just well, great. and your your auction here tomorrow. I noticed we just got here an hour ago, and people. I mean, everyone's coming up. Joe's everybody's friend. Uh, I don't know about that. I, I guess. <laughs> well, uh, thanks again so. for showing us, Joe. I'm gonna have to climb up in the cab and get a shot of that uh, of the of the tack there, but uh, okay, it's all dirty and dusty. We need to get it out clean. No, uh, it's again. it's fantastic, and uh, thanks. For, we're gonna be filming the auction for the TV show, so it'll be really fun uh, to get that out on RFT TV. So thanks again, Joe. Thank you. Thank you. And these original tires. Here we go, folks. Climbing <laughs> up into the 4440, Joe's. There you go. 788 hours original. Hey folks here with Mike Swindell uh now Mike Pop gave us a little tour there, which was only part of the of the shop here. But I, you know, the, he showed us the 4440 was 788 hours. But I understand there's a 
There's a kind of a sister to it back here? Yeah, the same owner both bought note at the same time. I've got a uh, another one twin to it, 1,615 hours quad range, come off the same farm. And where is it? It's right over there in front of the 1640 combine. Can you, can you take us back for a closer look, Mike? Yeah, we can do that. All right, Mike, we found it. It needs cleaned up, but that's it, 1,600 and some original hours. Wow, one owner from that same farm the 700 yep, came from? within 10 miles of this place wow. west of here. Now, do many many of your buddies know about these 24440s? Yeah, a few guys do. What I, do they? I uh, do a few people. They must just want to hear the story and come see them, huh? Yeah, a lot of them stop in to. to well, some of them don't believe it, but when you see it, it is what it is. So, what jumps out at you on a, on a tractor like this, Mike? Oh, just the age of it and how it's been preserved and taken care of. The low hours. 4440 is a popular model. Yeah, unbelievable. Well, uh, now you've got to show us one more thing here, Mike. Let's, uh, we got to talk Oliver Tractor specifically. <laughs> That's kind of a bad habit in this family. <laughs> well, I think it's a good thing. My mom doesn't even hardly walk out here anymore because she doesn't want to know what all we drug home. So. Well, I saw a line of Oliver Tractors. Let's go check those out. We can do that. Okay, Mike. Now I understand going all the way back, your dad, Joe, uh, and your grandpa with the Oliver tractors has been a big thing in the family? Yeah, that's what they farmed with all those years. That okay. Oliver, I mean, that's pretty much everything they had tractor-wise. So. And we have, no, we have an impressive line here, but all told, how many Oliver tractors are in the family? Mm, we got around 120 of them, somewhere right in there, give or take. 120, wow. Uh, spread out at a few locations, it must be, huh? Yeah, we've got a few barns around. Some okay. stashed in here and there. So, how about your your own personal favorite in the Olivers? Twenty two fifty five. Twenty two fifty five. Yep. What is it about that model, Mike? I just like the V eight. I just kind of a muscle tractor. I like that. Muscle so. tractor, right? Well, you know, anytime we see those out on the auction, they 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 can just go crazy. Oh yeah, a lot of people like them. I was fortunate and got a lot of them bought before they got real crazy ah, on the market. So very nice. Well, thanks for showing us uh, the other half of the shed here, Mike. And uh, wow. Great stuff. And again, your guys, uh, your website, uh, SwindellFarmEquipment.com. SwindellFarmEquipment.com. And you guys sell a uh, wide variety of used equipment. And you all sell what short lines do you carry? Uh, Keel Brothers, Vermeer, Westendorf. Um, we do Strobel seed tenders. Quite a few quite a few lines like that. Okay. Well, and folks, uh, I have not met many more knowledgeable folks in the used business than uh, Joe Swindell and his sons, Wes and Mike here. So if you need a good tractor or whatever, give them a, give them a holler. Thanks, Mike. Yep. Hey, folks, here with Wes Swindell. Now, Wes, I understand you did the restoration work, beautiful work on the John Deere 4440s. Yep. On the you. auction tomorrow. Yep. Yep. Those things are just sparkling. You saw how, how they blew up Facebook and Twitter here the other day, <laughs> didn't you? Yeah. Yep. I think yeah, that yeah. tells you what uh, people There's think of the job you did. Interesting comments there on that. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, now. Where did you pick up those skills, Wes? I mean, just growing up around the used equipment business over there? Yeah, the years? there was a gentleman that used to work for us, did a lot of painting, and uh, I just picked it up just working here, didn't have any professional training, just, okay. just something I enjoy doing. It must just, be fun to, to bring a tractor, kind of bring it back to like new condition like that yeah, visually. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's always good to see the finished product and go to a good home. Right. So. And uh, now, what about. One of those, the lower hour one, the 81, mm -hmm. it, it was under 6,000 hours, right? 5720, yeah. Okay, so pretty low hours, a decent. Mm -hmm. Was it, uh, how do you decide if that's one that you want to restore or kind of leave it original? What's, how do you decide on that? I look at the sheet metal mostly, um, if it could be buffed out and look good. A lot of times I'll, I'll take one in and paint the frame rails, uh, paint the engine, paint the wheels, okay. and then buff the sheet metal to leave it kind of somewhat original. Okay. But. You know, that one's kind of borderline where it might clean up good, but I thought sure. I'd just go all out on it. And, and, uh, yeah, it looks like, I know when people see those, it's like uh, it brings them back to the early 80s when they yeah. when they had one new back on the farm. Yeah. It must be fun to get those reactions from people. It is, it is. And that's that's a series I really enjoy. I, I really enjoy the 30 and 40 series tractors, just kind of what I grew up around. Now, do you restore many of the, the over 100 Olivers that you have? Do you get into those, restoring those? No, not really. Not really. I'd like to, but I kind of restore what makes us the money. The okay. Olivers are play toys. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Uh, well, how do you find the time to devote to those to the restoration with everything you have going on here, Wes? I just have to find time somehow. It's it's just kind of a hobby. So. Well, 
it's a hobby you're turning into a profession i can tell it'll be really fun to watch the tractors uh, yeah. sell tomorrow did yeah, you I'm restore the 4020s also i did um partially yeah okay. i did some of the work on them so okay yep well thanks for telling about us wes and we'll uh surely have fun putting them on rft tv yeah i'm gonna be excited to see them sell see yeah, what they bring it'll be good okay wes the uh in the shed here the surprises just don't end so i understand our combine here, John Deere 4400, hardly any hours on it? Yep, uh, it had 658 hours this year. Oh. Uh, put, I put a few hours on it, got some beans with it actually. Yeah, Mike was telling me uh, you guys took it out. You'll have to get some pictures or video of that thing in action. Yeah, yeah, I didn't get any this year. Maybe How did it year. run? It ran great. AC was ice cold. Still, nice. So, yeah, pretty good for a 4400. 4400 was 600 and some hours there, folks. Not something you see every day. Yep. And, and Wes, you got to also tell us here in the far corner of the shed, I notice again, we have plows up in the rafters. What is it, a baler, some yeah, manure hay spreader? Baler. Yep, hay rake, some manure spreaders. There's some uh, drills along the back wall and a disc. Did you and Mike put those up there? Yeah, me and Mike and Dad, we all, we nice. all did. We kind of ran out of room here on the floor, so the barn's pretty sturdy. We just decided to put them up there out of the way. What do people say <laughs> when they come in here and they see an Oliver 520 baler up in the up in the rafters? Oh, well, they enjoy it. Most people get a kick out of the tractor hanging over there. That's that's kind of the main thing. Everybody likes to see that hanging up there. What model is that again? That is an Oliver, uh, it's an 80, I believe. And what is that spreader, a Superior? Oliver Superior. Oliver Superior, nice. Wow. This does have the makings of a museum a start here, I think, <laughs> I think, Wes. Yeah, it could. We need a little more organization, but yeah. Uh, that's all right. And what was it like uh, growing up? I mean, you must have seen this just mushroom over the years, huh? Yeah, yeah. As soon as we built this barn, it all kind of came together here. We just had tractors stashed everywhere in okay. the barns. And when did you guys build the, this particular? Uh, I was in college, so that would have been about 2003. Uh, or four, we put the metal around it. We've just okay. been slowly building it, so. And now, again, with the Oliver connection, Wes, I understand your son, who's going to turn four here pretty quick? Yep, March name, 21st. Name is? Oliver, Oliver Ol Wesley. Oliver, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> and he's gonna be around uh, this afternoon? Yep, he'll be around later, so. What does he think of the Oliver tractors? Well, he says that uh, every one of them is his, because <laughs> they have his name on them, so I didn't really plan on that happening. But. <laughs> you have a smart son. That is, that is really cool, very yeah. fun. Well, again, thanks for uh, showing us all the, and telling us about this cool stuff you guys have, Wes. Okay, Wes, now again, the family connection to the Oliver tractors. I understand this one in particular, this 2255, uh, is fairly significant. Yep, yep. Dad bought it in 1994. Okay. Uh, and it just now has 2,045 hours. Oh. We, we use it on the farm once in a great while just to keep it limbered up okay. and running. So, knowing how much these things have gone up in value, buying it with 2,000 hours back in 94, do you have any idea what, how much it went for back then? 6,500. 6,500 bucks? Yeah. And you said Dad almost had an, you almost sold it at, 15 yeah, had, years ago? Had an offer for 10000 and he almost sold it, and that was early 2000s. But wow. I'm hoping it, it uh, stays on the farm forever. We'll yeah, well, it's a beautiful tractor. And uh, again, part of the Swindell Oliver collection, 100, 120 plus, something like that, Wes? Yeah, there's over 100. I, I haven't tallied them up lately, but. <laughs> and again, you guys don't look to sell any no, of the Olivers. No, just, no. You're just increasing. Yep, yeah, we like the Olivers. And mom, Jennifer, doesn't have a limit on how high you guys can go? No, no, she didn't, she didn't seem to care. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> She's the, uh, oh, that, that's awesome. Great, great to see them and uh, hear the stories on them. So thanks, Wes. Yep.